Welcome, everyone. Here is a story I found interesting. Now, it's from Thursday, October 24th, 2019. Headline, Lawmakers Demand Answers Over Troubled Companies' $4 million Grant to House Migrant Kids. So let's go through it. I don't want to read the entire article to you. I will have a link to this article in the uh, in the video's description, but let's kind of go over the highlights here. So, the lead paragraph: Democrat U.S. House members want to know how an unlicensed North Carolina group home operator won a multi-million-dollar federal grant to house migrant children barely a year after one of the company's facilities was shut down over abuse and neglect, uh, and where the money is now. Okay, that seems legitimate. So, yeah, what we have here is a, a group home that was shut down for various reasons. A year later, um, the Administration for Children and Families, which is a division of the Department of Health and Human Services, awarded uh, that same group almost $4 million bucks in a grant. So what the hell's going on? Um Excuse me. Sorry, I had to hit the mute button so I could cough. Um, yeah, so now they're looking to see how this could happen, how much uh, actual money has gone out the door from the feds to these folks, you know, how much they've actually drawn down, and whether or not the government will try to get some of that money back. Um, it troubling that a federal agency would award a grant to New Horizon after the uh, state regulator, regulators shut them down. Okay. Uh, why would they, Why would they, the federal government or the Administration for Children and Families, be contracting with an outfit like this? Why wouldn't they check the record? I mean, okay, so all of this, it does seem, well, seems a little crazy that uh, <laughs> the, the feds would give them any money uh, before they even got a license. So, yeah, apparently this... This place is unlicensed, the one that's going to be operating the grant. So, yeah, why don't we, why don't we see if we can make sense of uh, what's going on here? You know, there's obviously, you know, a great deal of confusion and uh, well placed concern surrounding the grant award. You know, how really how could a group home provider that seemingly operates outside of North Carolina standards, you know, given they had one of their homes shut down for numerous violations, uh, you know, how could they receive a federal grant to open a new group, a new group home? Well, actually, you know, I can see, I can see a number of ways uh, how this happened. First, unless their facility that was shut down by the state was using federal dollars, uh, they likely wouldn't be placed in the federal suspension and debarment database. And if you're not on that database, uh, funding agencies presume, you know, that you're in good standing. Uh, second, I'm sure this group home, uh, or this New Horizon, is that what their name is? Yeah, New Horizon. I'm sure this New Horizon outfit didn't mention anything in their application about the facility the state closed. They probably painted a rather rosy picture and touted their accomplishments at their at their other facilities. Now, I don't know how many they have, but the story, if you read it in in detail rather than just skimming it over like I did, uh, it it, give, it implies they have multiple locations. Third, if the application asked if they have all of the necessary licenses and permits to operate their proposed program, well, they either said yes, assuming that those licenses would be forthcoming, or they might have said the licenses are pending and they would have them in hand before the grant is awarded. Now, neither of these scenarios... Uh, Neither of these scenarios is, you know, is all that great because it's really stretching the truth. 
they had to know it would be a long shot to get another facility approved, given the problems uh, the year before at their other location. And finally, if the application asked if they've had any legal issues or other material problems that would prevent them from, from executing the grant, they probably just said no and figured they wouldn't get caught. Now, this is all speculation, of course. I haven't seen their application, you know, that they submitted to uh, the Administration for Children and Families. I'm just kind of walking through how this is possible that a shady operator could receive a grant like this. And I fully understand why why the congressmen are concerned. I mean, they have every reason to be. And when they eventually get answers, uh, they can probably help to make changes in the approval process. And, and speaking of which, uh, awarding grants is not a perfect process. It's based on the assumption that people are being honest uh, in the materials they submit to the feds, and it assumes federal employees are doing the best they can with their due diligence. Uh, you know, part of the pre-award due diligence involves checking a grantee's financial stability, their history of past performance, the quality of their management and control systems, uh, results from any audits or reports on file with the federal government, including the suspension and debarment database, uh, and their ability to implement the statutory and regulatory grant requirements. Well, if no red flag appear, if red flags appear, the awarding agency will move forward with, with processing the grant. You know, I mean, again, absent any red flags, why wouldn't they move forward? So, you know, a group home facility shut down by a state regulator in all likelihood would not hit the federal funding agency's radar. Again, this is speculation on my part. <clears throat> Excuse me. For all I know, there's a federal database of these group homes and... You know, maybe it wasn't checked, or maybe the information uh, was inaccurate. You know, who knows? Uh, I'm not even sure a federal da database like this is even necessary. You know, a few extra questions during the, the pre-award due diligence phase uh, could, could solve this problem. You know, question, is your organization currently licensed and in good standing with your state's regulatory author regulating authority? Uh, question, have any of your facilities ever had their operations suspended or terminated for, you know, fill-in-the-blank violations? Uh, question, uh, what's your organization's license number? You know, questions like these and a phone call to the state agency, the federal funding agency or the federal department overseeing the funds could quickly determine... Uh, if there are any reasons to deny a grant award, and if the organization is lacking a, you know, a professional license or a business license or whatever, you know, but everything else checks out, you know, the federal department could tell them, hey, you know, you have 90 days or 120 days to secure a license or the provisional grant will be rescinded. So, while I, while I share the concern of these congressmen and the local North Carolina officials, I can understand how things like this slip through the cracks. When you're dealing with people who, by nature, are fallible, but who are also doing their best, you know, unfortunately, shit happens. And I don't like the people are overwhelmed excuse but the Federal Department of Health and Human Services is the busiest department in terms of grant-making volume. You know, mistakes are bound to happen. And hiring more people 
isn't the answer when, you know, when your management or oversight systems aren't working properly. You can hire all the people you want, but if the system is broken, you'll just get more of the same. So, uh, yeah, again, based only on what we know in this article, it sounds, uh, it sounds like an extra layer of review needs to be added to the pre-award due diligence phase. And, and the awarding agency, well, they need to claw back every dollar they awarded to this group, uh, to this group home operator. Uh, I hope the, the congressman, uh, you know, gets some answers soon so they can put solutions in place. This is just one, think about it, um, this is just one $4 million snafu. Think of how many more are out there that, that haven't been discovered yet. It's, um, it's kind of scary. All right, that's, that's my news and commentary for the day. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like it or give it a thumbs up. And please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.